Today we're going to be demonstrating a all arthroscopic proximal biceps tenodesis using a Y knot for anatomic in situ fixation of the biceps tendon. Here we're using the assist arm in order to position the arm and hold the arm throughout the procedure. I've got the scope in a posterior portal with our anterior cannula here. Here you can see the glenoid and the humeral head of the left shoulder with the biceps tendon exiting out through the biceps foramen. Once we identify the area over the biceps tendon with a spinal needle, we use an 11 blade to carefully cut the tissue overlying the biceps tendon so that we can easily identify the biceps tendon from the subacromial space. I'll go back to the spinal needle in order to make easy identification of the biceps tendon from the subacromial space. It is not necessary to pierce the biceps tendon because as you can see at this point in the procedure, the biceps tendon is still attached to the labrum at the top of the glenoid and we have not yet released the biceps tendon. We now go into the subacromial space with the scope. I'll create a straight lateral portal using the Hexflex cannula in order to perform a subacromial decompression and a partial acromioplasty if needed to remove the anterior aspect of the acromion. We have our anterior lateral portal that we created when releasing the tissue directly over the biceps tendon, and I have an anterior portal that I reoriented into the subacromial space. Here I'm viewing from the posterior portal. I am looking at the rotator cuff, my lateral portal, my anterior lateral portal where you see the spinal needle, and my anterior portal. Now I put the scope through the lateral portal so we can clearly visualize the biceps tendon from the subacromial space through the rent in the overlying tissue that we had made when the scope was in the glenohumeral joint. We take a spectrum two and pass it around the biceps tendon, keeping in mind that the biceps tendon is still attached proximally at this point in time. We feed suture around the biceps tendon and pull it out through the anterior portal. Next, we insert the Y knot flex through the anterior lateral portal perpendicular to the biceps tendon going directly into the bone at this stage. We drill with the Y knot flex drill and then insert the Y knot flex anchor directly through the center of the biceps tendon. Because this is only a 1.3 millimeter anchor, it only creates a very small hole through the center of the biceps tendon. The anchor is inserted, the sutures are taken off the handle, and the inserter is removed, and the sutures are tensioned. Once tensioned appropriately, we use a ringed grasper to pull one of the limbs out through the anterior portal. I'm now going to use a super shuttle to pass the sutures around underneath the biceps tendon. I take one limb of the suture coming out of the anterior portal and pass it through the central hole of the super shuttle. It's important to use the central hole so that we keep the super shuttle in place for the passage of the other suture. I use the super shuttle to pass the first suture around, making sure that I don't pull the super shuttle all the way through that anterior portal. I'm then able to use that central portal again to pass the other limb around the biceps tendon in the other direction. And now I can pull the super shuttle out and I have my sutures wrapped around the biceps tendon. At this stage, we pull both of the limbs through one of the portals and tie the sutures using non-sliding half hitches. Once the knot is properly tied, the ends of the sutures are cut. Now that the tenodesis is completed with the biceps tendon at its correct working length, the scope can now be put back into the glenohumeral joint and use a biter or electrocautery in order to cut the biceps tendon at its attachment onto the labrum as well as cutting it where it goes out through the bicipital foramen. The intraarticular portion of the biceps tendon then can either be excised by cutting it at its bicipital foramen or using a shaver. This completes the all arthroscopic biceps tenodesis done with the biceps tendon being held anatomically at its normal working length. By putting the scope into the subacromial space again, we can confirm excellent fixation on the biceps which is held at its anatomic working length using the ConMed Why Not Flex. Thank you.